What profession would keep you from dating someone? As someone who's bartended for ages, bartenders are very hard to date. Getting off work as late as 4 a.m., the culture, it's hard to find someone outside the industry who can put up with it, and equally hard to find someone within who you can be healthy with. Any profession that makes them a celebrity. I thoroughly enjoy not being in any spotlight. Politician. YouTube prankster. Any job requiring high pressure sales. Those jobs attract a certain type of person I don't like. I'm a massage therapist. One of my friends also massage therapist started seeing a guy and he said he wasn't sure he was totally comfortable with her doing massage and would she consider finding another job. And that was the end of that budding romance. Grand Wizard for the Ku Klux Klan. Any job that 1. Required them to be away for months at a time or extensive travel. 2. Any job that had really unstable income month to month. My GF's job right now is perfect she works 4 days a week, 10 hours a day, always the same start stop time, every Friday set sun is off. It makes planning stuff super easy. Lawyer. I was raised by two of them. I've worked with and known several in my extended social circle. Every single one I've met has never been able to turn it off and I prefer not to be examined and cross-examined on a date. Manually masturbating caged animals for artificial insemination. Although it is a job that makes a difference. My ex-wife's attorney is definitely banned. Some spiritual bullshit scam. Priest. Gondolier. No matter the profession, someone whose job would require to travel a lot, like far abroad and for longer periods, would definitely not be my preference and probably a showstopper. Assassin. I'm a paramedic, so my vote is nurses. Don't do it. Nurse or doctor. They work very long hours and come home tired. Physician. I dated a surgeon for three years in my 20s. Terrible hours, so much drama, so much ego. Nurses throwing themselves at him every day. I later went to nursing school myself and have never, ever been tempted to date a doctor. Any kind of influencer if you can even call that a profession. Clown. Self-help motivational guru probably or any other charlatan snake oil type of profession because it means we will have many conflicts and incompatibilities over science. Influencer. School teacher. It's just changed too much and they carry such a heavy burden all the time. I'm not sure when the switch happened from teachers parents as a partnership to teachers versus parents, but that is in the top 5 of worst things ever. My mom saw it coming and I'm glad both of my parents got out of teaching with their mental health, physical health, and reputations intact. Teachers today seem like they are in a no-win situation. I hate saying it but police officers. 90 are attracted to the job for power reasons and I tend to not like their personalities. Pilot. Worked for an airline once upon a time and not one of those fuckers was faithful to his wife. And more than one had a mistress in an Asian country. Filthy bastards they were. Crime boss. Lawyer. Dangerous professions or professions that keep them away from the home for a while military, firefighter, cop, etc. Sex work porn of hooking. Arachnologists because I have a phobia of spiders. Any fake profession chiropractors, televangelists, MLM. Also police. Drug dealer. Realtor. Anything church related. Bartender I've seen some things in the restaurant business. Musician. I can confirm this as a musician. Influencer OnlyFans content creator social media manager creator liaison reddit discord moderator sugar baby. Paparazzo. Certain kinds of sex workers. Influencer. Red journalist. Infectious disease doctor. Muckbanger. Someone who works in a slaughterhouse. Police officer. 
I'm a little prejudiced against insurance adjusters. I've known a few and they're good people, but if I were dating someone whose profession was the same as people who have made my life a nightmare in the past, it would be a rocky start. It's probably small-minded of me. But I think of it like DUI attorneys. Someone has to fuck them, but it doesn't have to be someone who was hit by a drunk driver. My stipulations have always been no flight attendants, yachties, and nurses. Don't mind me, just scrolling to see if my job is on here. Safe so far but the numbers don't add up, smiley face. Influencer sounds like a fancy way to tell me you're incredibly narcissistic and have no real life skills. A job you can't do in your 40s and 50s. It's much easier to be a gym trainer in your 20s. Anything political. Cop is probably the most obvious answer. Sex worker. Kitchen staff. They work so many hours and are really likely to have problems with drugs and or alcohol. Predatory lending. Anything that involves misleading people. I guess astronauts. Any profession that keeps one of the couple away for a long period of time. Any type of sex work, adult entertainment, or a celebrity of any kind. Not saying they're bad jobs, just not my type. Military. I graduated high school 2003 and saw tons of my friends deployed and friends significant others be deployed and couldn't imagine the stress. Also not having control over your life and where you live. Insurance sales. I already spend enough trying to avoid them. I'd be terrified of dating a stand-up comic because every time we have a fight, she'll probably embarrass me in her act. I also don't want to date an accountant because I'm an accountant and I don't want to think about it after I'm logged out from work. And letting your partner bitch about work is a sacred responsibility. Cartel Enforcer Odds of going to funky town are too high. No cops, no feds. Anything in or around politics. Only fans content creator. ITT guys don't date whores. Women don't date cops. Litigation lawyer. Cop. Prison guard. Debt collector. Any profession that puts them on the wrong side of the class war. Sex worker, mortician, corrections officer, spy. Realtor. Sales. <laughs>